Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, yes, man, you're there. Yes. Hey, it's great to see you, yes, yes, man. Uh, did, yes, you like, man. did you like today's bit? Did you like the second act of the episode today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I can, can I can I break down what happened there? I didn't know. What, yeah. I didn't yes, know. That. Yes, 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 yes. All right. I. <laughs> so I had uh 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 this doc of of data, which is usually how most of these things go. Um, yes. <laughs> And uh, this was based on this. There's this Business Insider article that was like, here are all the industries that millennials are are destroying. They're psychologically scarred. Yes. Yes. And 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 so I knew that there was, I, I thought that there was something. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was. I thought <laughs> that there was. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that. Originally, like right up to the start of the show, this was going to be a quiz uh, yeah. called <laughs> called Killing or Willing, and it was uh, industries that the millennials are either killing or willing or to willing let to live. spare. Yeah. Yes. 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 Uh, 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 but it was, I don't know, I I wasn't a hundred percent sold on it, and also it was mostly <laughs> killing. <Hold on. laughs> Can you show this document? Sure. Where it's like he has placeholder names of Bastion, Junkrat, and Mercy. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was someone suggested that on the not attack we did on Tuesday as your guys' messed up. Oh, 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 names. for B R uh, B J and M. I added Got Mercy it. for Mike TV. Yeah, that's great. Today. <laughs> because in the middle of the show, I thought it would still be a quiz. And yeah. Then, and then I I got cold feet and thought, no, this. What if this is. If I give them a little bit of material, maybe we can just play in this space. I mean, I I, I think you're not wrong. <laughs> I, I think I think you adeptly and correctly uh, assessed that uh, that we had gone long on the first bit, and that we just needed something for the for the second act uh, to run with. And also, uh, there's no way we would have found out about sticky tits if it weren't for uh, the way you framed it. So yes, yes, yes. Um, I, don't I know. swear, it, I swear, guys. It, like, like, I mean, Bonnie acted like I knew. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later, yes, man. Um, like, Bonnie like, acted like I knew that and was trying to out her about not wearing a bra. Uh, no, I think she was ma she was mis mis channeling her her frustration. Uh, uh like, but, but like you're in the other room and you just hear. Um, yeah. I wish there was a way to express to you guys how <laughs> sticky these tits are. Uh, can yeah. I? Okay. Can I? Uh, I'd also very since, sticky. since we're just f f like forensic dissecting the sure, yeah. sure. It's just uh, yeah. girls. An early, an early joke idea for the. Okay, so I had a joke idea for this bit. It would be a total okay. joke. Uh, and then everyone in the Discord like kept trying to fix it and like give me ways to make it a real quiz. But mm -hmm. the idea was gonna gonna be. Uh, mill in industries that millennials are killing, or uh, direct title threads from Reddit slash r slash the the underscore Donald, and it would just be like beer or yogurt or cock SJW libtard <laughs> get owned on Twitter. Certainly. <laughs> So you would so it'd be very clear what it was, but it would just yeah. be a funny kind of kind of thing. It'd just be a yeah. Here's here's really the only thing I would say in terms of the actual show element of it. It's very uh, small. Just let us know if we're supposed to carry the entire bit because yeah. we've gotten very fat and doughy in this new <laughs> bountiful harvest world sure. where uh, second act is just Bryce bringing comedy to the table and all we have to do is react to it so when we got to go back to the old times of like all right we're gonna do this stuff and you're just gonna give us monkey bars to, to swing on mm. just just give us a heads up that like this is not a, a layback kind of thing just be like hey guys yeah. you're gonna have to carry the water here I, I i guess last week that was also kind of what it was and i kind of assumed we could wing it but uh, well no the only thing was, last week was we were that was the video games right yeah 
Like that was like there was there was Something stimulus, prepared. so it was yeah. like okay, now comment on the stimulus and 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 not just kind of go on the the, the other stuff. But still, it's fine. It was good. I'm, I'm just I'm just giving you a hard time. It was funny. Yeah. Stupid uh, feet. Stupid <laughs> feet. That's such a good. I love I love that the stupid feet line. I don't know. Oh my Something God. about yeah. it is fantastic. Like wait, stupid feet. What? Stupid, from, yeah. From the music, from the oh, start of the show, yeah, the yeah, podcast. Yeah. We were just doing a podcast, actually. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, I don't oh. Know. sorry. Else I mean, I'm just your dialed. Computer, Brian, <laughs> now. Are, you, are you good? Now good. that now that Brian is given now that the Brian's donating marrow, he's like he's like, what else can I give away? Oh, I've got an extra yeah. kidney. Let me see. I like. Do I need my spleen? Yeah. Good news, guys. I've just adopted another child <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's take a look at some show titles. Um, let's see. A racism <laughs> shaped racism. hole, which I think was a pre show. Boob boners, bit. tip boners <laughs> is, boners. I think, what I called them. But Sticky tits. Sticky tits is good. Beating off four year olds. Okay. Hide your boob boners. <laughs> Beating off four year olds. <laughs> Bring out the tiki torches, folks. Oh, no, this wasn't the show. That's right. We had a whole thing about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That one got uh, got pretty racist. Ninny Kazam. <laughs> <laughs> the history Look, of ninnies is as old as history <laughs> itself. The vast Orient. Oh God. <laughs> the vast. It's Orient actually is not pretty it, great. It, it, it's it's outdated, but but the Orient is not a a racist term. Correct. Correct. Right. I kind of like the vast Orient. <laughs> I think the the Ori- Orient is not a racist term. Orientals Oriental are a is. racist term. Right. Well, and even then, it's not overtly racist. It's just the non-preferred nomenclature. Uh, yeah. Asian American, I mean, You can please. get away with saying, I was in the Orient. You cannot get away with saying, anyway, I was talking to these Orientals. <laughs> yeah, okay. Touche. <laughs> uh, Stinky tits. Spider boobies. What comes again goes again. <laughs> a colorful show. A colorful show. Oh, right. <laughs> 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 can we do that? <laughs> I love that one so much. Can we do a colorful show? Oh, Is that God. too bad? <laughs> and everybody's, uh, everybody's waiting for the moment it goes off the edge. <laughs> Dick stick up. Um, oh my god! Beta episode. <laughs> a millennial killed this show. Oh fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> colorful episode. That's racism too. Electric boogaloo chair. God. Electric. No. Wow. So it's got both both state sanctioned murder and racism. No. Oh, oh, god damn! Uh, um, mermaiding with Mike TV. Mermaiding's not too bad. Oh okay. no, I would no, no. Okay, <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> what is this character? <laughs> is this the E Man? <laughs> no, <laughs> it stands for evil. I am. Um, oh, what a letdown! <laughs> I'm glad I got to help Bonnie's <laughs> dad joke that she does every time. <laughs> oh, what about where's our Vietnam? Oh, where's I, our Vietnam? That's pretty good. I like that. You guys want to yeah. do where's our Vietnam? Yeah, I'm down. Okay. Oh, I really liked. I did love a colorful show. <laughs> a colorful show is good. I just don't want to necessarily point to the the racism jokes. <laughs> sure. I'm fine with oh having them in there. <laughs> sure. Oh. Oh. Uh, we need to decide about how we want to do Night Attack for the next, like, two weeks. Go on. Well, I assume we got a show Tuesday, right? Well, I guess that's that's the question. That's one, that's something you would assume, since that's our usual time and place. Uh, But um, Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm doing that Wizard Academy class. Mm. Oh. Well, Tuesday in, okay, so then, yeah, we're in Atlanta Thursday, so... Uh, I'm in Atlanta Thursday, so I can't do it Thursday. So either we would have to do it Monday, which would be a bitch with Ashley. Mm-hmm. Although she might not be here, actually. Uh, so we could do it Monday if we wanted to. Uh, that we, we could, but that will put us on a triple rock block day on Monday of just three double-length recordings. 
Uh, yeah, man, that's that's the day that I'm living today. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Um, because normally we'll do the Tuesday before a live show, and then the live show will be the episode the next week. Yeah, um, yeah, and and I usually prefer to have that after we put a bunch of effort into the Dragon Con show to not come right back and do another show because usually the the way that we've done it before is that like that's all we wind up talking about is the show we just did two two days ago right we could we could do a pre dragon con show like a like a, a between the sheets episode just you and me talking through everything well i guess when is the to add so like friday I so do a between the sheets episode friday and then and then the night attack show on saturday saturday uh, you got any gum? My vote would be for Monday. Okay. Um, uh, but but um, just because I want to keep ahead, if if at all possible, I would love to keep ahead. Jack Aaron says uh, we don't have a guest on Cord Killers on Monday. If that is something that can be moved around. Uh, We could have another night attack right now. You just want to start another one right now? <laughs> just, gonna have, we're already already here. Don't tempt me. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You guys don't. Do you ever end night attacks on a cliffhanger, and then you're like, "All right, we have to tune in next week." Like you just drive the car off the cliff and then freeze frame. It's about that time the Duke boys realized <laughs> they was in a heap of trouble. Oh, uh, uh, um, did 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 you see that chatter? Sorry. Um, well, we didn't. I, I was trying to do a bit. Uh, also, we didn't oh, resolve God. where I'm going to be. Yeah. Um, did you see that chatter on Slash Film about how David Hasselhoff wants to do a Logan style 30 years later for Michael Knight and Kit? Wow. Yeah. And and, and I, I, I want to have a, a, a dick that can I can do lasso tricks with. Do you Doesn't say dick we're going to get it. Uh, yeah, that seems like kind of a silly idea, right? Like, didn't that kind of miss the point of fucking Knight Rider? Well, did didn't they kind of do that though? Didn't they I think, do I a, think if a you Knight did Rider it as a 2000? comedy, if you did it as a comedy, and Kit is still like the nineteen, you know, like the nineteen eighties. What was that a court? What was it? Was it Trans Am? What, what was like you know? But if it was like, yeah. if, it, if 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 Michael Knight was still decked out in the same clothing. Kit was still the like the still the same like interior. It was like you know, and you did it as a comedy. No, the thing is, it could it could actually be pretty fun. Doing no, a, no. Doing I say no. Logan I say style. no. I say no. Uh, I say make it like like for reals, like like night. Is that really what we want? Because let let's break down why Logan was good. Logan was good for two reasons. Number one, it actually gave the fucking actors that have been inhabiting these parts that we love. Something to fucking do aside from get to the jet or I think Magneto's getting stronger. Let's get into Cerebro. Like, <laughs> well, it also they also it also took the chains off of Wolverine, who's like who's like a vi like a, a significantly violent and bloodthirsty character yeah, in so the it, comics. It just, it just, and, and you're like, yeah, you get to see him as Wolverine, you know, so yeah, it, that it gave was him like, something to do. And it added actual pathos to a story that we have loved before for the science fiction trappings. And we always knew because of other work that they'd done, that these actors were not being fully explored, right? That they could yeah, do a yeah. lot more with these roles, and finally they were given a chance. For fucking Knight Rider, I don't think anyone's like, finally, let's take the reins off David Hasselhoff so he can really fucking blow ours away. Well, that's, that's what I was saying. That's why if you made it a comedy and just and just did it. I mean, I, you, I, could, I could definitely see a Knight Rider with David Hasselhoff and Kid. It would just have to be a comedy, you know, like, like and you would do it, and yeah. you would, and you would, you would uh, if you had them dressed... And the exact, if you had him dressed okay, the exact so, same so way, he, he, with here's the same the, hair. Here is, uh, yes, you could do that. However, um, real, real quick, Bryce, can you get this out of my system? Okay, can you just show it? I'm <laughs> trying to set up for once this conversation is done. But it's a, <laughs> <laughs> that's a dog that jumped forward. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't remember uh, where the, they're killing your tits bit. It's kind of, I don't quite understand that's the logical. That's what Bonnie said. Bonnie was talking about how bras okay. kill your tits. But I don't get the connection with the 
dogs. There's just some. There's one mental acrobatics move that I'm missing. Here. Actually, you're, that's a good point. I don't know why, I don't the, know dog why the dog is, is on here. The dog is murdering. It's oh, no, didn't you say puppies that the puppies want to live? Oh, I maybe. don't remember that, but that's funnier. This episode is a blur. Way. We're already forgetting this. Episode. We went we went in a weird direction. So here's the thing with with with, with the with the Night Rider thing is uh, somebody <sighs> saying, "Oh, you want Twenty Two Jump Street, but you'll end up getting Baywatch." No, but the thing is with the problem with those comedies are, and and by problem <laughs> I mean the ones that aren't Twenty One and Twenty Two Jump Street, are that they're all meta cynical things where it's like. Hey, we're rebooting this thing for fucking money because I, we're sure I guess that, Hollywood. So, 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 it, so it, definitely here, runs the, it definitely runs the, 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 the chips, you know, the, the, the potential, the chips exactly. potential, Just potential, give an potential, yes. earnest thing. Like, this is, uh, Cargill and I were talking about this, that, like, we're in a post-irony phase. Like, let's just go to the movies and have a good time. And yeah. I think that's, yeah. like, that, hopefully that, what, like, Thor Ragnarok is, is like, yeah, let's go back to this big colorful funny people having a fun adventure let's not think about the like uh wink to the camera i think maybe we're in a thor movie like sure uh, sure like see i disagree because wh when i was a kid I, I i didn't feel any wink and a nod when i thought of knight rider knight rider was legit the coolest shit ever sure. and so and so likewise oh, that's what i'm saying do that well but it's not what you're saying because you're saying that they can't do Logan uh, because Logan also, like me as a 40-year-old man, they made that shit cool as shit. And I felt it. And it's like I would like to see that as a grown-up. Like I would like to see them actually fucking kick ass and I would like to experience that pathos of being out of time, out of sync and like, Jesus, we're still tracking down bad guys, aren't we, kid? Like that would be amazing. That would be amazing to me. Yes, if David Hasselhoff was either Hugh Jackman or Patrick Stewart, you know, sure, like sure, like that—that's the reason why that movie works is because those actors are fucking amazing. Correct. And they like were given meaty shit to do. I don't I know if we really off, need yeah. David Hasselhoff. Like, Kit, we're getting old. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, hey, "You're telling me I only have two megabytes of memory." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I uh, have four. Yeah, I I have one point three million miles. <laughs> also, I'm way beyond my warranty ex expired. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, yeah, but yeah, I guess my my point wasn't so much about the Logan thing. My point was was more about the twenty two Jump Street, like that that idea of sure that post ironic comedy. Uh, I, I the in general, I just think that. David Hasselhoff wants to pitch a Logan idea because it means he could be in the Knight Rider movie and they're not going to fucking cast some young kid uh, to be Michael Knight. Like, that's yeah, why he wanted yeah. to do... Michael, your phone is 500 times more powerful than I am. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> why don't you ask Siri? <laughs> yeah. Um... Uh, uh, hey man, stop wait. me if you heard this one before, but I got to get on a plane. Wait, in wait, five wait. We, hours. We, we didn't resolve the one thing that we tried to resolve. Yes, they are killing your tits. They, <laughs> yeah. Is that what this is about? Your puppies want to be free. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to um, Orlando to drive to Daytona Beach. Tomorrow I'm doing a show with the author of Here is Real Magic, which, by the way, all of you guys. Um, I'm not going to say who told me, but somebody who has a book indicated to me that January, which coincidentally is when Here is Real Magic by Nate Staniforth is coming out. Uh -huh. He pointed out that January is a incredibly soft month for nonfiction books. And oh. that um, hypothetically, if a book were to sell... 5,000 copies, let's say by pre-orders or whatnot, uh, it could get on the New York Times bestseller list in that month. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, so, and Unrelated again, to all of that, Here is Real Magic is, uh, uh, you can pre-order it right now on on Amazon, and I recommend you do. Now, is that, uh, is that instructional or autobiographical, Here is Real Magic? It he is, um, uh, uh, the tagline is a magician's search for wonder in the modern world. And uh, I, I fell in love with it in the very first chapter because it's, mm -hmm. it begins with him um, at a small college that clearly nobody is there to see him. 
like he has to win over the crowd and I'm like been there know this uh, uh but it's his story this is not a magic book this is a actual like correct his, correct uh, yeah a yeah story of his life uh yeah he's going to go on to talk about uh, uh for example at page 132 he's talking about the snake charmer and uh when he went to India and uh Asia okay. to the orient as I'm told it's called mm, almost <laughs> Uh, That's at least uh, just uh, what the Orientals call it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You got to get Nate on here to hawk his fucking book. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so, all right. So, so you're at you're at the Daytona uh, tomorrow. Oh, uh, Embry Riddle Aeronautical University. If you're Ooh. in Daytona Beach, uh, just show up and don't tell anyone. They're killing your tits. Uh, and hopefully you'll get out of Austin tomorrow. Check it yeah. out. Yeah. That's the thing. Wait, what's happening here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you able to? I are you able to fly? <laughs> from the, oh, this wow. is the guy on the wall. I, I don't uh. know. Uh, everybody seems to believe that all of Texas <laughs> is just the coast. <laughs> Something tells me oh this one's going to be popular. This is fucking too perfect. <laughs> Please put that up on the fucking Twitter immediately. <laughs> Please post that in the chat so everyone can u- use it when, when appropriate. <laughs> And I think this is, they're already that memes eyebrow this. raise though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was awesome. the context for that? <laughs> it was guy on the wall. The guy on the wall. <laughs> That's you know you, you yeah, know Bonnie, yeah. Bonnie wanted to have a guy on the wall listening <laughs> to her take her tits off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Um, hey man, for the record, this is a fun show. I'm glad we do it. It's pretty great. I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> uh, pretty pumped about it. Oh well, shit! Look like, at Sticky Tits. It looks like god Tits is it. gonna get a lot of it, but Sticky's not gonna get out dry either. <laughs> mm. Oh my god! Oh, and it looks like nipples. It looks like a pair of. It does. Looks like some tits right there, if you ask me. Um. So uh, get- hey, big big shout out to anybody uh, who is in the the Houston or Corpus Christi uh, area. That's that's some uh, category three hurricane is not anything to fuck with. Yeah, if you've been displaced, uh, our hearts and minds go with you. And if you didn't follow an evacuation order, that was dumb. Hey, am am, am I totally fucked? Like, is I guess there's a non-zero possibility of me not making this gig tomorrow, huh? Uh, You'll get yes, out of there here. There is a, non, I mean, a non-zero chance that uh, uh, shit. Although, if it hasn't got canceled now, oh, I then when is the flight? Yeah, is it early morning? Because you'll, yeah, you'll get is. out of here before anything bad happens. Everything well, I, it's, 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 it's yeah, at if eight, you're fucked, you'll know soon. Okay, it's eight a.m. Okay. Oh goddamn! Category four now. Holy shit! Uh, wow. Yeah, because yeah. that, that's. I mean, I know. I know it's moving at a snail's pace. I, I think it was moving like ten miles an hour for for the first you know handful of hours once it hit land. So, um, it's not. It's not like traveling very quickly. And but man, uh, it's, it's like it's, it's like the Will power. Smith summertime of hurricanes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, it's ten miles say... an hour, so everybody sees you. <laughs> hurra, hurra, hurricane! Hurricane! <laughs> if anything, I'd say. Because you're getting back Sunday, you you might have trouble getting back in on Sunday. Yeah. All right. So now they're saying that it's stalling off the coast, which is a pain in the ass because that means it'll continue to strengthen and just drop a shit ton of rain on those coastal cities. Hmm. Okay. That's really bad, actually. Um, Uh, Yeah. So, hey. So it's not. Yeah. Uh,. Uh, uh, do we feel okay about doing the show Monday? Would we rather try to find another time, possibly? Sorry, this Monday? Night attack? Yeah. No, no, I could do Monday. After after Cord Killers yeah. and Weird Things? Ultimate Rock Block. Okay. Three podcasts. Uh, Three uh, yeah, here, follow-ups. The one thing that I, I do got to double check that fucking – well, uh, either way I can probably do it, but I, I can't do it in studio unless Ashley's not here. Five in. feet of rain? Are you kidding me? Cool. Then, All uh, that I know is that I got five feet of rain. <laughs> I live in Texas, don't you know? Not the Great Plains. Not the Great Plains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not the great play. 
I just want to take a plane to Florida. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I want to board it at 740. <laughs> and all I can do is use these drink coupons for two. But by two, I mean just one because I'm trying to fall asleep. <laughs> If you see some rain on the side of the road, you say, there's no rain. I'm here in Texas, Texas not the Great Plains, baby. <laughs> so what you do is you just deny the existence of the rain. <laughs> if you see some rain. Deny <laughs> your maker. <laughs> Why on you, nature? We're not your slaves. Fuck you, Gaia. Oh, we're getting blue now. <laughs> oh, I got good and dark. I'm in a new phase of my career. I say, fuck you, nature, up in your rear. In your rear. <laughs> We've done this bit before. We've done this bit before because I remember doing the little refrains at the end now. <laughs> He's with the uh, he's with the anti climate <laughs> oh, change. So my, lobby. Fa- my favorite part of last night's shoot, we shot a modern rogue episode. We learned how to shoot uh, uh, shoot steaks, <laughs> how to cook steaks. Yeah. And there's this moment where I forget what it was, but there was like there was something that was like, oh well, a fly landed on this, and so I don't want to eat it. And then, <laughs> and then Bryce just goes, wait, 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 no, 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 that's not what it that was. <laughs> hey, is that, to. What was no, it? No, no, you were talking about your the steaks giving you a big hard boner. You were saying like, oh, oh is that like, what it was? Yeah, you were saying, oh, like, oh it was funnier me a to me arm. when I thought it was a fly. <laughs> like, like, uh, no, uh, you were talking about getting a boner from eating these really nice prepared steaks. Th- there was something that we said about steaks, and then there is this pregnant pause, and I just hear Bryce go, straight people, <laughs> which which made me so happy. <laughs> yeah. Straight people. <laughs> like that oh maybe you were you were talking about getting your dick hard because you were killing flies i i i, I really think we were talking about how we were grossed out by flies and no, it's like it was, I remember it was in the context of grossness we need to check the really youtube maybe... we have a recording of this apparently okay, all right. so cool. we have to check that i think there was some dick talk straight people twitch straight people twitch oh, straight right. people twitch <laughs> brush brush wood, brush wood. <laughs> um man yeah. Uh, uh, are you are you mentally prepared for for Dragon Con, Brian? Uh, <laughs> oh, also, by the way, I I was reading a bunch of shit that I'm doing, and a bunch of shit, like two things that we're doing together. One of which you're not listed for because they don't know that you're gonna co-host OPP with me. Uh, are you doing? Are you listed for literally anything other than Night Attack? Four things. Four, Four things, things, buddy. Okay. Are they all skeptic tracks? Or yeah, can people uh, uh, not on that list was. Uh, <laughs> I I, I want to out you. I want to out both of us. Um, oh, oh, the text I sent you today. Yeah. So Justin, Justin, hits me up saying, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Justin hits me up this morning. Like I'm in bed and it goes. Bloop, bloop. I'm like, oh, this is important. And he goes, uh, oh, shit, did you get your passes yet? And I was like, oh, fuck, what? And so, so I say, which passes? <laughs> and all caps, he says, to quietly drinking by ourselves con next weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, here we go. We've, we've reached singularity the now. <laughs> the dog is the best. This is a capture. This is clearly a capture of this after show also. Oh, my God. That dog's amazing. Oh, my God. Thank you, Max Trollbot. Hope you're doing well. Oh, my God. Uh, Jackie Hearn is in the chat. Uh, Jackie, did you hear yourself in the pre-show where we were were talking about we... Uh, Oh, Open Body says you weren't listed because he only checked the podcast track, and I guess you're not in it. I'm all skeptical. You'd be the skeptic track, right? (laughs) Yeah, I'm not sure that the podcast track even exists. I mean, uh, 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 maybe if it weren't for all this God. (laughs) (laughs) 
He paused like that for the applause. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I finally wants to do that in all the skeptic panels. <laughs> I swear to God, that's one of those fucking rooms where you cannot go low enough. You can't fucking like do the biggest parody of what you think it would be, or just like, 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 oh, like I don't know. I mean, I really think that uh, when it comes to astronomy, that uh, you really have to focus on it. Yeah, and not Jesus. <laughs> when will well, you oh. realize global warming's real? Am I right? Am I right? Mm. 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 We're not uh, even laughing mm. at you, Jackie. Listen to the show, please. <laughs> no, like you're just there. We hear your your dulcet tones, your voices. Yeah. I mean, we might as well go ahead and look at it again. Just, no. I mean, I'm just saying. No, we. That was the whole <laughs> start of the mm. pre-show. I mean, we got closure it's you're, on you're, Reddit. You're, you're not wrong, but. Uh, oh shit! Wait. Uh, oh goddamn! We didn't get um. Oh, well, I guess we got it in the pre-show. The uh, the the Cogswell bit. Yeah, no, that's what that's yeah. We put it in yeah. the pre-show. We played it. All right, good, um, good, good. Uh, uh, Slider was saying that that uh, apparently we forgot you were gonna do spikes tonight, Justin. We you, I guess. We yeah, oh, that's I mean, right. That was also gonna be in another day, and then we didn't do it, and yada yada yada. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe Monday. Like I understand clinically, I I must have longer hair, but it just it doesn't. You want to get sense? Because I'm even. It actually looks shorter because it has the white tips. Yeah. You definitely have the length, but I, I'll, I'll catch you in the next week. I mean, wait, but you can't because I'm not going to shave. I haven't shaved for like a month. Oh no, I'm gaining on you, son. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking. I'm, 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 I'm pure look, octane, baby. <laughs> look at this, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Uh, uh, somebody's saying uh, the buck is telling saying that I'm welshing on the bet. I don't know if I am. Uh, a part of the United Kingdom, and uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're Irelanding. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know if I'm Welshing on the bed. I, I, I might be Welching on the bed, but I don't know about Welshing on the bed. You Welsh motherfucker. Yeah. All right. God, there's right. nothing I... better than finding a minor flaw in somebody <laughs> accurately dismantling you. Like that's the best. The best fucking uh, circumstantial. Uh, a rebuttal is the best kind of rebuttal. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's my jam on uh, uh, the Mono Rogue is whatever someone has to say, I respond either with, like, um, double brackets, citation needed, so it looks like, uh, you know, from the Wikipedia article, like, yo, back up your facts, yo. Uh, yeah. Or it's clever. I call them the N-word. Uh, uh, to, to be honest, the reason why I haven't done the fucking spikes is because... Uh, uh, and and I should have communicated because they were before, dumb, I, I and Brian was dumb to ever have them. Yeah, uh, 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 you know the the back thing is really depressing, and so that's the reason why I didn't really want to talk about it all that much. But like, that's part of the reason why I haven't gotten the bet is because it's really fucking hard to get out of my house, and uh, and you need it's a haircut annoying for it to right? fucking think about even going mm-hmm. to take that extra trip to do fucking anything. But now that I got this cortisone shot, everything feels a lot better. Then everything is kind of opened up a little so i'm very happy about that cool. yeah no we, awesome. we we want the best for you and your well-being uh yeah 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 i mean it's just it's not exactly fertile comedy not funny yeah, yeah. not fun. for me at least not, not fun. which if i'm gonna be half of the joke you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, guys. Mike TV, thank you so much for hanging out with us man sorry we sort of yeah. looped you in without asking you ahead of time no, no, I had an awesome time. Uh, yeah, it's it's always it's always a lot of fun. So thank you guys for for yeah, having man. me. Hey, dude, thank me. you so much. And of course, everybody watch that man's live stream. It is just always the fucking best time. Go uh, go check that shit out. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, we will see you guys Monday for the uh, the Uber. Wait, what, oh. Is there anybody we got uh, any more people live? No, right? Uh, I, I I don't. Dude, no. that dog. Is uh, that dog live? By the way, um, <laughs> we toss that dog on on tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, we'll be doing another Night Attack Rewind. Colin, see you last Tuesday. 
Uh, so we'll be watching old episodes. Oh, my God. By the way, so so we're doing a fucking... It, it, I hope you like Night Attack because you're getting a fucking Night Attack tonight. A Night Attack Rewind tomorrow. Fucking rest up on Sunday because we're right fucking back with Night Attack on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then and then I think I'm going to be doing No Man's Die sometime in between there, too. So, uh, well, fucking A. Keep your say what? Hey, how about this? Uh, uh, Domestic Dan's live. He's always a good time. What, what do you say we, uh, we go raid... Uh, domestic Dan as we go live. That is uh, twitch.tv slash domestic Dan. Tell him he's the original D man. Yeah. Say say that's, you're that's the original D man. You're the D man. You're the D man. Oh, you're the, you're the D man. The D in his name stands for domestic. <laughs> Not <laughs> divorce. Hey. Divorce. Yeah. Sixty three. Wow. An American guy. record, Brian. Sixty three times have you, have I have been both married and divorced. Six more and then no more divorces. Hmm. Uh, rolling in my 6-4 with all the honey saying, hey, you, Mr. D-Man, won't you let me ride? And I will, but only for a specific time before we get divorced. <laughs> hey, they're up in the sky. It's me, the D-Man. The D-Man, hey, the no divorce guy. guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the host over now. So remember, everybody, Bye guys. Yeah, there we go. Tell tell domestic Dan he's the original D man. Everybody, he's a really great guy. Go uh, go watch him. He's a fun he's a fun person. Let's see, let's see. Oh no, he just walked away. Perfect time. Perfect time. We always nail it, don't we? <laughs> Who that was? Oh, it's Night Attack. Oh, freaking Night Attack. Hey, how? Thank you. I'm a mind splainer. Mm, the original D Man. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a pun on being a man splainer. You're the no you. Oh, he did it right. He did it right oh, with yeah, the inverted. Look at him. Hot damn. Very cool. All right, we're gonna hold on. Uh, oh, hey, what man? It does oh, feel shit. cool to just roll in and drop double their fucking audience on them. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go because I have to go. I've got about 14 minutes to get to the store. Mike, look, I don't have time to hear what you say, but you've been great. I'm sorry to tell you, we need you off the show. I'm sorry, you're fired. You're off the show. All right, get out of here. Damn it, you'll be hearing from my lawyers. I'll see you guys later. Love you. Good night, everyone. Bye. Be well.